Hey everyone, Jesse here. Wanted to do an update on my video of aquaponics and probably the, I don't know, top two plants, definitely the best plant that I have um, growing in the system, as you can see. So typically in the past, I've grown a lot of sweet potato, um, just provide some shade. They do really well. They root out really easily. Here's a sweet potato. You can see um, it's rooting just sitting in the water. And then we have cucumbers. So you can see the amount of cucumber growth everywhere, completely shading out inside. Um, these plants, if I can get the video in there. So I started about 15 or so cucumber plants in here. And I start them on the side. And then you can kind of see that there is this wire welded fence, the black fence right there. Um, so that's just in an arc and it's going over. So basically I will train all of these cucumbers to go up the sides of the wire welded fence. And this is what you get. So 15 plants or so growing in clay pebbles. And I will put some uh, fertilizer. I don't know if there's any in there, but basically the water level will get right below um, these clay pebbles and I'll put fertilizer right on top of that. So the moisture will wick down. Um, the plants will get some, some fertilizer and I'll, I'll spread that kind of everywhere. Um, this bed will flood with water every 10 minutes or so during the day, uh, which keeps these very hydrated. And I don't know if it's just cucumbers in general, um, but they seem to do extremely well. Uh, I have other cucumbers growing in soil and we're in Houston, it's hot. Uh, this time of day, all the leaves will be wilted um, from those soil-based plants. Uh, but these ones just continue to grow like crazy. Uh, you can see all of the flowers and that should be a good indicator as to how many cucumbers you will actually get. Oh, it looks like there's a, a bee right there. Oh, there it goes. Thank you, bee. So let's see if I can find any cucumbers. I have some growing right now. Um, it gets a little complicated trying to find and look through all the plants. But it's just a, a great visual. Oh, there we go. So there's a cucumber. I have a couple different varieties in there. Um, once they start growing, they grow really fast. Uh, maybe cucumbers are typically, you know, take a lot of water, maybe. I don't know what those are. I think those might be uh, black soldier flies, actually. Another thing that I forgot to mention is right here, I do have, I put a bunch of worms in this system, uh, compost worms, red, red wiggler worms. And so I put some food down underneath this. Let's see if I can lift it up in twice nasty. Rub some things in there. Trying to see them. There we go. Those are black soldier fly larvae as well. Um, so, trying to put as much fertility in here as possible uh, while supporting the cucumbers, letting them grow. And I mean, this is evening sun, is the location of that. You can see some more little cucumbers growing right there. So this only gets evening sun, which is typically the worst. Um, you know, usually plants in the south, they don't want evening sun. It's, you know, 95 degrees, it's hot. Uh, they want that evening sun, midday maybe, and then turn it off. So just want to show, you know, this is a 50 gallon uh, stock tank up here. There is a drain pipe that goes along the bottom. And so every 10 minutes, it floods this bed, which is filled with, or this um, stock tank, which is filled with about 15 random sized fish from catfish to bluegill, um, just things that are local to the area, caught locally. So with that, it provides enough fertilizer, 
enough nutrients to grow cucumbers like crazy. Um, I'll do some more videos later on when we see full production um, and start getting some cucumbers to actually produce. You can also see, well maybe you can see, but the water is also very clear. So all these plants um, really help the water to clean up the roots and everything else. We'll just clean the water, filter the water constantly. Um, so it's just a, a natural working system together. So with that, thanks for watching and hope you uh, found this insightful.